it's been a while, but a topic just came up that I really wanted to talk about because it's kind of getting like so normal and annoying to this point. So if you haven't seen the news, Young Philly, a British YouTuber slash rapper slash entertainer, was just arrested for the R word and a couple other counts of other things. Do keep in mind, this is all allegedly the trial and case is still ongoing, so nothing has been proven. But having four counts of non-consensual intercourse, three counts of bodily harm, and one count of disrupting normal breathing, it ain't looking good, bruv. As Costello put, it's not looking good, bruv. Now, I don't really have much to add to this. It's a super new case. I just want to convey you some feelings. He has been put out on bail with a couple restrictions. One of them being he can't contact any of the victims. So, you know, no victim tampering, which I mean, it's a given. You don't want to, you know, pay off the victim. You want to bring justice. And also he cannot post anything on any of his social medias about the case. He also has to stay in Australia and he has to post 100,000 for his bail. So apparently on Saturday, September 28th, a woman in her 20s in Perth was sexually assaulted in a hotel room after Young Philly performed at nightclub bar one. And that's kind of really all we know at the moment. The case is kind of being a bit locked. Obviously, they want to try to have a fair trial and all that. So they're trying to keep all the information on lock. Now, basically, I'm just going to give a couple quick thoughts. As someone who has watched Young Philly and like Chunks, Dark as all, all of them for a couple of years now. I'm hoping this is untrue, but we'll just have to see what goes on. But if this is true, it's just getting ridiculous at this point. The word YouTuber is, is just like a YouTuber is basically just another word for fucking criminal, bro. Why is everyone just going off the just going off the end? They're going off the edge, bro. What's going on? It's like every week or every month there's a new YouTuber with more allegations than the last. What is going on? Cat Williams said every, every lie would be exposed in 2024, but I thought he just meant celebrities, not fucking YouTubers. What's going on? I can't, like, every time I try to, like, any YouTuber, oh, nah, bro, he's a nonce. Oh, nah, bro, he sexually assaulted someone. Fuck's sakes. Then you look, then you look fucking straight, look up, look down, look fucking left, right. Oh, nah, he's a scam artist. Oh, nah, he's a nonce. Oh, nah, he sexually assaulted someone. Fuck. I don't, I don't understand. It just seems as soon as someone gets even the hint of influence or power, it all just goes downhill. It, it's so concerning. The amount of times people have been given power and just fall off the edge is so staggering that it's actually sad. I'm also just, now it's just going to be kind of awkward watching the content now because with these allegations, I'm going to be looking at everything with like a, you know, microscope like, oh, is, is that, you know, something I should have seen before? I should have picked up on that. And also now I'm looking at like the group, like Chunks and all of them. I'm just like, did they know about this or are they kind of doing the same behavior? Because Chunks and Philly, that the duo, that that's, if you think of Chunks, you think of Philly, you see Philly, you think of Chunks. And then you do like a little bit more research and everyone in comments, obviously it's from comments and people are just like, oh yeah, he's known as an egomaniac. There was someone saying that apparently a girl rejected Philly and he was just being such a dick that Chunks had to apologize on his behalf. So it just brings into question, like, was he always like this? Did he become like this? And now he's just making everyone that associated him look bad. Chunks, Darkers, Angry Ginge, like, now you just kind of look at them and like, are they doing the same shit? Or were they allowing it? It's just getting sticky. I just hope justice is served and this trial is done fairly and we come to a conclusion. Please don't just throw out accusations as well. Remember, this is all legit at the moment. Just... But these are just my thoughts.